Hi everyone, Nancy Allen here from YourEnergyRx.com with your Quantum Healing Code for June 2021. Last month we began our three-part series on abundance. Please be sure to install last month's code for spiritual abundance before continuing with this month. This month we continue our abundance series by activating our emotional abundance. Energy thoughts flow from the spiritual level to the emotional level, culminating with the appearance of abundance in the physical. The spiritual is where we have our initial thoughts. From there, that thought requires a spark to ignite it. Otherwise, it just sits in the ethers. Emotion creates the fire that brings our thoughts into the physical. So this week, we'll be pulling a code to bring our emotional abundance into balance. If we can ignite our emotional abundance, our physical abundance will fall into place. So here's the request. Is there an assisting frequency for highest good that will release obstructions from our emotional space, rewire us to clearly hold and transmit our emotions into our desires and replenish us with the self-worth to be able to have our abundance. And the code that emerged is from the Anahata codes. It is black salve. Black salve. What the heck does this code have to do with our request? Well, black salve is associated with skin disorders. Okay, so what does that have to do with anything? Skin and skin disorders have had spiritual aspects since ancient times. Skin, hair, and nails are visible to self and others and touchable by self and others. Check this out. The skin is a major sensory organ. Skin also expresses emotions detectable by others through pallor, coldness, goosebumps, redness, warmth, or sweating. Wow! This code for black sap will stabilize our emotions so they can be used to ignite our desires from the spiritual levels. Are you ready? Let's install the code for Black Sav. Okay. Go ahead and get comfortable. It's time to ground. If you already know how to ground, please do so. And if you don't know how to ground, you can put your attention on the base of your spine down by your tailbone and create a wire, waterfall, cable, cord to attach one end of at the base of your spine. Just wrap it around, plug it in there. And the other end drop all the way down to the center of the earth. The earth helps us ground out things. It's part of its job. And make sure that that cable cord or whatever you used is clearly and strongly connected to the center of the planet. And then back at the base of your spine, I'd like you to create a switch at that connection point that says release. And switch that switch to the on position. And then put the commandment into that grounding cord and into that release switch that everything that's in your space that is not yours or no longer serves you will be sucked down the grounding cord. Everything that's not yours or no longer serves you. Right down the grounding cord. And then come on up to the center of your head that's behind your eyes between your ears. Create a space in there. 
from which to work. This is a space of neutrality. This is where we can see what's going on, notice what's going on, and not be derailed by emotions attached to it. Yes, I know we're working emotions today, but we want to balance our emotions, which means that there's going to be stuff that we don't need to be hanging on to that's interfering with our ability to emote an ignition source for our desires. So this is an important step. And breathe. And then right-handers, left-handers. We have a position that we take on so that our body can feel involved in the process and so that we can learn the signal flow of how this energy, these codes come into our space. Okay, so right-handers, dominant hand, right hand on your heart chakra, left hand goes in the air like an antenna. Left-handers, switch it. Your left hand goes in the center of your chest on your heart chakra, and your right hand becomes your antenna hand. Okay? Now for both of you, as I read off this code, I'd like you to picture that string of numbers coming into your antenna hand, down your arm, across your shoulders, and being delivered into your heart chakra with your delivery hand. And from there, it's going to swirl around in your body and it's going to swirl around in your aura. That's that electromagnetic field of energy that surrounds each of us. And that code is going to look for your version of the code because we already have these codes all in us. It just depends on if they're activated, if they're broken, if they're shattered, if they're turned off, if they're overworking. Sometimes they can be working too much and cause us imbalances. So this code is going to go in, look for your version of the code, and start to bring it back into balance. Okay. Here we go. We ask for, accept, and align with this Anahata code. It's with gratitude we accept the assisting frequency for Black Sav. 3298743 3298743 one more 3298743 and we close up the installation by putting both hands on our heart chakra and be grateful thank you thank you and it is so. Woo! Well, that one just slipped right in, didn't it? Wow, my hands are on fire. That was a good one. <laughs> well, to better understand what's going on with these codes, I encourage you to watch my YouTube presentation, How the Codes Work. And please subscribe to this channel. Also, check out my Your Energy RX dot com quantum healing code carriers facebook group isn't that a mouthful for even more codes so that's it for now i'm nancy enjoy this month's code and remember there's a code for that see ya bye